Hi everyone, it's the first week in June and we're harvesting our first uh, San Marzano's. They're looking pretty good. Uh, and we've got these little cherry, I think they're called Black Beauty. I can't remember, but they're really cool. Um, got a few of those. And so the garden, everything is good. The okra has exploded. It's just gotten really big. You can see all the little okra there getting ready to grow. We just check, my husband just picked a bunch of squash and zucchini off these guys. The Malabar spinach is climbing. It's a really pretty plant. I like the red stem on it. It's almost like hot pink. It's really pretty. And this is the Trombancino. You can see we harvested, we had friends over and we gave them a few. We had some huge ones on here. There's flowers coming and it's going all the way up the trellis. Uh, let's see if I see any more in here. No, I think that's, we picked we picked them last night. Here's some pretty flowers. Uh, the lima beans are growing. They're not growing as tall up the pa panel as some of the other beans. So I don't know if it's just too hot. It looks healthy. It's got flowers on it. So we'll see. And then these are green beans. There's some diseased leaves here, but it does have flowers. I don't see any beans yet. And then over here, I think this must have been a bush bean. We thought it was a vine bean because it's just growing like a bush. And then my asparagus beans are just beautiful. Got these big, these are the red ones. And then these are the green ones. And I thought I put albino seed ones down, but I guess I didn't. But it's all the way to the top. So those are doing great. Um, the tomatoes have gone crazy and I don't know what we're going to do at this point because this was the walkway. <laughs> the tomatoes are kind of taking over so we're going to have to tie those back. And then last week there was a space between the tomatoes and they have now completely grown together. This is the cucumber harvest today. And this is, there's a trombancino. And then these are obviously uh, squash. Okay, then over here, peppers. We've been kind of just picking these. They're doing really well. We've got a ton of habaneros. I tried to give these to our friends last night and nobody wanted any. They said they would be too spicy. So we're gonna have a lot of those. Um, Everything is like, see, this cucumber is invading this cage, so I'm gonna have to move that. That's kind of the problem we're running into now. Everything's just getting so big. Um, got some nice jalapenos and some serranos. And then these are the Thai chilies. They're doing really well. Cucumbers. Great. These are the experimental tomatoes that I had not done before, and they too are. Oh, these are probably 10 feet up. You can kind of see here's the ground, and then there's the tomato. Um, they're growing out of the bed, kind of going just. They're tipping the cages. We keep staking them. They keep tipping. Then we've got these are, um, oh, I forget the name of these peppers. What are these peppers, Chuck? Shishito. Shishito. Shishito peppers. They're doing great. Our melon is doing good. This is cantaloupe. There's some more sand. And this is the lettuce, by the way. We I think it's still good. There's some that's starting to bolt like that, but. I list them and then I planted seeds 
here a couple weeks ago. Herbs. Onions are still not ready. And uh, let's see. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. We're just trying to trying to contain <laughs> some of these plants that are just become monster size. And I'm not really sure what to do with the tomatoes. <laughs> I think I'm it might be past the point of return. Uh, I did notice over here, this one side of tomatoes just doesn't look really healthy. I've got a lot of yellowing and browning of leaves. Got a lot of nice sized tomatoes. Uh, so I need to probably check the irrigation and make sure they're getting enough water because I suspect that could be the problem. And in the middle here, you can see I've got some herbs, but they're not getting any sunlight, so they're starting to yellow as well. So these are things to keep in mind next year when we plant. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, if you like this video, 